What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We got a fun one for you today. We are back out at the new range, the Black Powder Gallery, and we're going to be testing out some new products from Hodgkins. Let's check them out. Today, we're going to be testing out the Pyrodex pistol pellets for cap and ball revolvers. That's right. You get a hundred of them, that's like a hundred shots because 30 grains is on the freaking high side, like the max low. But hey, these uh, new metal revolvers, this one's an Ooh Birdie. That's right. We're going to be running an Ooh Birdie Sheriff's 1858 today with these Hotchkin 30 grain power pellets. Let's take a look at these folks. They come just like the ones for the rifle stack double. Get them out with the little uh, pipe cleaner. One per 30 grams though, yeah? Well, you know that I had to be cool and make me some caseless surrounds, that's right. So make it a little faster, we're gonna try these out. I'm gonna load them the same way that we do the uh, paper cartridges. You just drop them in, spin it around, and then tuck it on down. Sit, you cut your nice lead ring. Drop her in, spin it around, sit her down. Significantly faster, I'll say, than uh, loading it powder and then ball, which, I mean, come on, if you're a black powder enthusiast and you're still loading it like loose powder and a ball, come on, get with it. They was getting with the times before you back in the day. Boom, that makes six just like that. Always make sure to lube your bullets and seal your chambers. I just use, right now, a bag of Crisco with the corner cut out like a frosting bag. And uh, yeah, that is balling on a budget way to do this. Cheap thing of Crisco, Ziploc bag, cut the corner out. Stick it in there and fill her up just like that. Boom. Now you got sealed and lube cylinders. All right. Ain't nothing but to do it, but to do it. We got six of them loaded up. They're all primed. Let's see if it'll blow this gun up. Probably not. Uh, let's see. I do got to say, that sucker thong. Does make you wonder why they chose the max load. But yeah, you know, let's see, we just pop the old Pyrodex pellet in there, put the old ball over it, send it home. I have to say that this is much more convenient to load them. And uh, like, you know, I had them before where they're glued together. That is incredibly smart, I think. Whoops, I goofed. I got one extra click in there. I didn't mean to. Damn it. <clears throat> A few moments later. Let's see if we can hit any steel with it. God! Goodness! God! I will say that after the third cylinder, it's getting a little bit tight ramming that stuff down. So we're just going to run it probably this time, one more time, and see how she does.
fucking get out of here. Hundred percent ignition every time, though. Man, it's got a heck load of recoil because of that thirty grains. But other than that, I mean, I'm liking it. So I have to say overall, the uh, Hodgen Pyrodex pistol pellets, I love them. A plus, it's really high, like a lot of recoil and it's hot, like the max load, the 30 triple F, I mean, 30 grains, that's, that's like the max that you should be putting in your uh, black powder, but it hits, it loads, and I really could shoot this entire box, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm gonna you know save some, but hey, you should probably check these out if you're a black powder enthusiast, and hey, Big shout out to Do It Outdoors, big supporter of the channel, as well as the Trading Post, Thomas Gun Pond of Forest. And uh, if you don't know, we have a Discord, Big Boy Rabbit Live Action. That's right. If you want to get on there and talk to other like minded people like you and just see my day to day, what we're actually doing in the projects, get on that Discord and talk to folks. See all the pictures. You don't have to chat, just look. It's fun. If you hadn't already hit that subscribe button and smash that like and at least get down in the comments and tell me what you thought of this one. I'll see y'all next time.